I don't like to kick a guy when he's down, but this is a truly loathsome creature. <laughs> Former media darling Michael Avenatti heading to prison. The disgraced lawyer will spend two and a half years behind bars for trying to extort Nike for 25 million bucks. He was apparently weeping in the courtroom today, and his legal troubles far from over. Avenatti faces two more trials on the West Coast. The media looking very foolish after praising this creep. To me, you're like the Holy Spirit. You are <laughs> all places at all times. Looking ahead to 2020, uh, one reason why I'm taking you seriously as a contender is because of your presence on cable news. I uh, wrote about this saying you're currently leading the pack among 2020 contenders on, on the Democratic side. Look, I think you're doing a hell of a job. I don't think you're in this for money. <laughs> <laughs> we used to share it off as Chris and I at CNBC. Uh, so, Dana, is, is this uh, uh, that affection they showed Avenatti? Was that, that Avenatti uh, qualities or was that really about hating Trump? I think that it was just like getting carried away with themselves, like in the hopes that maybe somebody was be able to take on Donald Trump at the time. And Michael Avenatti, he craved the media attention. He, get, he was always available. I mean, that's the easiest date in town. And the thing is, also, he was quite behind the times. What you do now, if you want to get $25 million from a company, is you have, basically, you go underground and ask them for 20, you know, $50 million in crypto, and that's how you get paid. Like, this, he doesn't even know what he's doing anymore. But no, anyway. you become a diversity consultant. <laughs> and you introduce, and you come in and wokeify the corporation. You could do that as well. I'm, but I'm glad true. that justice was done here. And I'm really glad also that Nike's lawyers sniffed this out immediately. Contacted the FBI. Oh, the guy's was... driving Ferraris. He's wearing uh, two thousand dollars suits, and he's yeah. uh, where's the money coming from? Uh, so, what about Stormy Doug uh, Daniels? Do you think she should? Uh, is it worth uh, Daniels? Daniels. Yes. Stormy Daniels. I like how you she... remember not how you forget her name. <laughs> how can you forget Stormy? He got thirty months. That's uh, one month for every hair on his head. Uh. <laughs> I'm curious. Will Brian Stelter or Jeff Zucker visit him in jail? After all. They were, you know, Conjugal Stelter. Visit. Con no. <laughs> Jesse Waters. Jesse Waters. Not oh, my God. There's anything wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> but how does CNN report this? I mean, it's like Michael Avenatti, a lawyer we just heard about today. We did not party with him. There are no pictures of us with Don Lemon in the Hamptons. Uh, he just went to jail, and we are so happy that he went to jail, and we have nothing to do with them. How else are they going to report on it? Because they pushed this guy on America because, to your question to Dana, they were deluded by their, their uh, de well, their delusional loathing of Donald Trump. Just got hate. If this guy was like a mass murderer, they still would have. You know. But it is very clear evidence of that, isn't it, Jesse? You, you know, you can speak about media bias and all the rest of it, but when you see it laid bare <laughs> like this, here's a guy that was embraced in a way that was really obscene. It was so gushy. Uh, Michael Avenatti, uh, Michael Avenatti, and then it turns out he's just a, you know, a, a, just a low life. You have street smarts. This table has street smarts. We could smell his cheap cologne from a mile away. We saw it coming, but they don't have street smarts over in these mainstream media hallways. They <laughs> get duped. By, remember Smollett? Yes. Smollett, oh, yeah, I'm hungry for a Subway sandwich at 40 below. Come on, man. <laughs> and they believed the guy a week later. And then this guy, his little shady legal maneuvers, pulling fake victims out of his hat to destroy K Kavanaugh. He was sucking up to everybody, all this grandiosity. They got suckered into this guy. They hitched a wagon to a criminal carnival barker because they loathed Trump and they thought this was going to be the silver bullet. And when I noticed the guy was almost on TV as much as Fauci, mm -hmm. when you see people <laughs> on TV that much, as much as Fauci and as much as Avenatti, there's always a big, big crash. Kill me, you better be careful. Well, unless you're selling a book. <laughs> has, unless you, has, unless has you're selling retired? a book. <laughs> I don't care about Stormy. I'm glad this guy's going to jail. You know why they can't smell out this guy, this I, you know, a steam and bag of skeeves that you could... <laughs> a I, bag of cicadas. <laughs> right. <laughs> they can't s sniff him out because they are him. Yeah. They are oh, the combination. Yes, they're dip-witted and arrogant. What, how else do you explain this idiot goes to Nike and is like, I'm going to outsmart the lawyers at Nike. They're all the same. It's a party of one. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.